This is how to do the heart surgery. So firstly, you'll need to remove this little cover here. Oh, really need to remove this cover, and it's really annoying. Really in the way. There we go. Finally. Okay. And the first step is to break the rib cage. So usually, I use the hammer for this. And I'm just like using this kind of motion and just smacking the the rib cage open. Uh, be careful not to lose a lot of blood in this. So just give it a, like a little hard smack here, like this. Be, be careful to be on the inside and not get the uh, tip of the hammer too far on the outside of the body. Drag the hammer a little bit like this. There are some very hard to reach spots. But you're losing more blood by doing that. By just tapping the thing here. Oh, I don't think you can even tap that. Yeah, there we go, that's very nice. We need to remove the right half of the replicate show. Um, but firstly, I need to stop the blood because you have some issue with the drainage here, it looks like. So I'm just gonna kinda jack this one into his um, torso. Put it back. Oops, ah, I need to get a little bit better grip on the hammer here. There we go. Much better. And we can start to run this one a That's so perfect. Oof. Big oof. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. Finally. Alright. So we're losing like 0 0.9 blood or something every every second, but it doesn't matter. Just need to kind of scrunch out the lungs here. More bones. Nice. And we'll need a scalpel. Don't need the hammer anymore. Oops. Get inside of his body. Okay, this is perfect. Now we need to take a little crease on the, uh, on the stomach uh, thing here. Cord. And then also on the very end of the stomach, there's like a almost the same little thing there. Just need to. Oops. that if can do. There you go, pilot. And then we'll also need to take the crease right here. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. And also need to take this right there. You see? A little crease there as well. I'll have to get a very good blood level on this thing because I'm just mashing around on this body, like always. Do a little bit of that reach into his torso and just throw at the heart. I usually do this and just leave everything out. I believe you can get an achievement if you remove all of the organs inside of this thing here. It's not really that doesn't really matter that much either, actually. There we go. 
and just need to flip this cover open, grab the heart, and bang. This should do the trick. Just shuffle it about here. Come on. Oops. What? 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 Hey, what the fuck? This should work. I'm not sure why it's not working. Hello? Excuse me? There we go. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. So, that's basically how to do that. And now to the... To the hard part. I think this one is the hardest one, except for the teeth. And that's the kidney transplant. Um, although I got an A on this one. I think it's really hard nonetheless. And uh, because you actually need to cut a lot here, so I'll actually like to use one of the um, scalpels like this one. It's really good. And there's like a little crease down here, just uh, where my tip of the knife is. As you can see, didn't even scratch a drop of blood on this one. Um, the other one is, is down there, so like the real more red part here, right there. Very good. And this one's a little bit more tricky, but I believe it's like right here or something. It's a little bit hard to, to get it right. I don't even know if it's there or not, or if it's just far behind there. I believe it's right there. Okay, it was. And then, if you're really good, you can take this through the intestines and on this little crease that you see under underneath this little intestine here. There you go. And the last one is on the little this one in the stomach line going here. It's hard to reach. And this one all in one go. There you go. Save some time. And use this little Syringe. Oh, be careful not to touch yourself with it. Because you're gonna get really trippy. Oh, I almost touched myself with it. Oh my god, there's there. Okay, there we go. Just jump down there. Nice. We're probably gonna get an A rating on this one. Hopefully. And then we just need to kind of crank out all this gunk here. Stomach first here. And, well, and then we can take the liver. Okay, never mind. Take the liver first. And then the stomach. And then we can use the scalpel again. I like to call it butter knife because it looks like a butter knife, but it's not really. So you kind of want to hold it like this. So you can kind of uh, extend it like this. And just barely touch the side of this yellow line. Okay, like that. And the same on the other side. Okay, nice. Good. And that was the scalpel done. Now we need to use like a spoon or something like, like this thing. Oops. And we just need to kind of scrape it out in the best way possible. This one is pretty easy to take out by hand, but this one is a little bit harder to take out because you can actually, you cannot really actually reach down into there with your physical hand you have to use some kind of tool to scrape it out with something like that, that's going to make it more easy to take it out also if you if you kind of do this with your other fingers first if you can have this little some grip here that's easier to reach and also don't get your fingers in the way for everything else there we go and as always you have this little box where everything is stored so just kind of drop this into there as close to the string as possible and then same there 
Green, boom. A plus plus rating. That was pretty nice, actually. <coughs> <coughs> Ironic with the performance anxiety. Okay, so the brain transplant is actually pretty, pretty difficult to do right. I don't really know how to do it. Uh, I recommend using the hammer actually. I think that's the best tool for this job. Remember to use the right tool for the right job. Oh my god, there we go. And yeah, we're just gonna mash it into a set. If I can hold it right. There we go. Kind of wanna. Right, so oops, careful not to hit the, the part of the head that is not the skull, or else it's gonna bleed out really hard. There we go. And if you also hit the brain, it's gonna cause some some unrecoverable damage, and also increase the blood flow. So, around. I don't think I'm gonna get the A plus plus rating on this one, but I can probably get a B rating from quick and use this little green potion here. Just smash it through this eye. Like that. Ironically enough it's gonna start to bleed from that, but I don't care. We just need to crank open other side of his brain here, or his skull, I mean. Oof. So I hit the side of his head, right before I was actually touching the skull. Caused him to start to bleed again. Okay, I think that's a big enough cavity to work with. There we go. And now we're just going to kind of grab his head and kind of start to flow it out. And what you need to do is actually cut it off from the string. Um, I don't know if it works in real life or not, but... Oh, we just want to hit this head and kind of mash it underneath the brain. Like that. And just... Put it along like that. And reach your hand into this little canister right here. On the edge. Like so that's cool. And I can actually drop it from here. Hey, nice. So I got a B rating. That's cool. <coughs> um, and then we have the eye transplants. Yeah, these are actually pretty, pretty simple on this, in this level at least, because you have scissors. You can just grab here. Oops. If I didn't topple it over. Okay, we have we have some other scissors right here. I think the scissors are the best tool to use for cutting the goggles off. Because that needs to come off. Okay, come on. Can I please pick up the scissors? I'm almost there. I guess you're gonna use the scalpel anyways. It doesn't hurt to practice. Oh, now we can pick it up. Okay, so that's actually pretty. Okay, because you have it right by our side. We're gonna try to not stick it into his head, but into this little crease there, right? A little crease in there. And if I can see, that will be. There we go. Smash it into his head like that. And this time, the. The green potion is inside this little jar. I just need to kind of take it out. Oof. Can I get it out, please? I can, you know, I can't. Seems like. Oh! Oh, oh, please don't double one. I know we're gonna need those pencils. So, I'm just gonna shank this one into his face. And try to grab the pencils without. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, we're gonna need those pencils right now, actually. So grab a pencil or two, just try to orient it a little bit better so you can use it. You can just like, toss it there and grip it more like like that. Oh, actually, that's a little bit bad as well. Probably something more like this, I guess. Oh. Hmm. I can 
grab it like that. That works as well. If you could grab it like that. Oh, we can. That's okay. Well, that's actually not too, not too good because we want to. There we go. We want to grab it more or less like the scalpel we did when we were going to take the heart transplant. So, can, can I please grab this thing? Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. We're just going to mash it right into, into his eyes. So just take uh, like a little, a little eyeball in here. Haha. <laughs> and... Oh, there we go. Nice. It'll, it'll get stuck and it'll leave your hands if you do it right. Um, just had to... Uh, hey, can I get it back? Nice. Um, also, we can carefully position it right again. Oof, that's also big oof. Because we need to have it just the right angle, and I can get it the right angle if it's like that, but if it's like that, I could have done it. Oh, no. Not again. Oh, be careful of the top lower and scoop at all of the eyeballs. Don't do that. I think at this point it would have been better to just take scalpel. Because I don't think there are any pencils in one of the other things, but we can actually try to just just mash the um No, we can actually do it like that, okay cool. Okay, nice. Precision. And oops, we need to take the pencil out. And this is getting a little bit grotesque actually. Oh yeah, that, that happened. And uh, that's what's supposed to happen. What you're supposed to do is actually you're supposed to like use two fingers or something like that and just kinda kinda tap his his temples a little bit. A little bit more. Right right to the side of his his eyes. You can see it's almost there you go, it's popping out. Pretty good. And we're going to need another scissor or a scalpel. I really like to use the scissors because they're pretty much per per precision tools here. If it were for it were if it weren't for the case that I'm uh, useless using any tool in this game. Oh fuck. I touched the f okay, so this is like four muscles on there. You had to touch all of the four muscles with the with the cutting tool. And if you touch the eyeball or the string that goes from the eyeball, he's gonna lose some blood. Can you please not shuffle your head about while I'm trying to cut this, your eyes off? You're not making it easy, mister. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Or perfect. It wasn't really perfect, but it was good enough. There we go. Cool. I'm just going to use this green stuff again. Come on. There's all these jars in the way. Cool. Oh, nice, pretty good. And the easiest part right now is um, to actually get one of these nice little magic pencils. Okay, again here. Oof, if we can get it. There we go, perfect. And we're going to stick our pencil into one of the eyeballs. There you go. I'm going to mash it right into this eyeball socket. Well, like this. Oh, cool. That's the easiest way to do it. Let's, um,. Shuffle about in this little box and see what I we get here. Oh, we get them all. Ha! <laughs> Gonna catch them all. Okay, no. Whoop! No, almost. Ah, woo! Hey, that's nice. And we get an A rating. That's pretty good. And then it's probably one of the most difficult part here, and that's the teeth transplant. And yeah, the hammer is probably one of our best tools in this game. 
if there is one of the small hammers here, I would like to prefer to, to use that instead. Oh yeah, there it is. Pretty nice. Um, firstly, we're going to use the scissors and cut the mask off. Because, of course, its mouth is kind of masked off so it doesn't get so much stuff in its mouth. Oh, that was almost perfect. Or, actually, it was perfect. To cut the string without without actually losing any blood, that's actually preferable. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, so you can see he has like two teeth there, which is bad. And then one up there and three. Oh! Remove that. Oh. That's for your own safety, mister. And I don't think there are any more than that. That I can see. No. Okay, so it is these three here. And we're gonna use the hammer. Do we have the green potion here? There you go. Nice. And yeah, I'm gonna use this tiny hammer because it's better control with it. I'm gonna use this little pin on the side here and just try to mash it into into the one tooth or two teeth that are missing here. Oh, there you go. Almost. Oh, that's the side. There you go. Oh, almost. Oh, that was not gonna happen. Come on, can I actually hit the one dip? No. There you go, finally. Grab it. Okay, there we go. Nice. I'm just gonna put it right here, and we're going to need this little, this little tool right here, because we're going to pick up the teeth, all the missing teeth that are missing, we need to replace. So if you've gunked out all of the teeth, well, good luck. You have to replace all of them. And I don't know if there are enough in this little tray here. So of course, you're gonna use the uh, tears, I guess. So there's some grinders here, there's some shippers, and some tears, I guess. I guess the shippers are first here. No, I guess the tears are first and then the shippers, and you can just use your, your hand to open this up. And you usually tend to use the side of this guy's arm, but it's not too efficient right now. And my clock fell off. I need to think for a second. It's so hard with using a mouse. I actually try to track, but it's even hard. Okay, there we go. Nice. I just need to kind of gently put it in there. Okay, you can see you get a nice little tooth here. In the white side is one that's going to point towards the towards the air. Can get it close enough. Oh yeah, okay. That's yeah, that's that's good enough, I guess. So we can also oops get a, get a lot of these these guys and put in here. We can just kind of get it very cro close to the opening. Oh yeah, we put it in the wrong place, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, okay, so we have even more. Okay, one more here. Going to actually get his face a little bit more tilted towards this side. Nice. And one more, I guess. Woo! Nice. And we get an A rating. That's the first time I get a, that on this level. Alright, pretty good. And hopefully you'll know how to do all these when you get to the corridor, things start to move a little bit. And then in the ambulance, things are starting to really move about. Things are flying off to the side and if you really want to get things flying, well, there's all the space. So yeah, I guess good luck.